Michigan football took on the Maryland Terrapins at the Big House last Saturday. Sports Night's own Sievert Glarum was on the sideline to capture all the action. We picked things up in the first quarter with Michigan linebacker Devin Gill chasing down Maryland running back Ty Johnson for a negative gain. Michigan's running back Karan Higdon would run numerous times early as part of 25 carries for 103 yards. Michigan would jump out to a 3-0 lead on a field goal at the end of the first quarter. Michigan's lead lasted for all of 11 seconds because Maryland's Ty Johnson took the ensuing kickoff back 98 yards for the first touchdown of the game, and the Terrapins led 7-3. Johnson would be held on offense to only 3 yards on 5 carries by Michigan's strong defense. Now Maryland's quarterback Kasim Hill would be under pressure for most of the day. This time it was junior defensive end Josh Uche forcing the throw away. With 821 remaining in the second quarter, the Wolverines began an 11 play 95 yard drive, ending with this powerful run from physical fullback Ben Mason. Michigan took the lead 10 to seven and the big house was rocking. But Maryland's offense was elusive at times. Terps running back Anthony McFarland escaped tackles by Chase Winovich, Tyree Cannell before Quiddy Pay could bring him down. Scary moment here for Michigan at the end of the first half. Defensive tackle Michael Dwumfor went down with an injury. He would have to be carted off to the locker room. Although after the game, linebacker Devin Bush did not consider the injury to be too serious. The Michigan offense was not done for the first half. And on this play, Shea Patterson gets 6'8 tight end Zach Gentry involved with a nice first down catch. The Wolverines would end the half with a 17-7 advantage thanks to this improvisation by Shea Patterson finding freshman receiver Ronnie Bell for a 22-yard touchdown. Grant Perry and Nico Collins came over to celebrate the score. Defensive end Quiddy Pay continued his standout day with a sack to start the second half. And the Wolverines started the scoring in this half on Quinn Nordine's field goal, 31 yards, his second of the day, extending the lead 20 to seven. Michigan special teams took advantage of a miscue by Ty Johnson, pinning the Terps back at their own one yard line. The Michigan defense did not let them outside of their five, Aiden Hutchinson making a big tackle on the drive. Donovan Peoples-Jones got involved in the scoring, weaving his way on this 34-yard score with two minutes left in the third quarter to advance Michigan's lead 27-7. But Maryland would respond with a drive of its own, Kasim Hill finding DJ Turner down inside the five. Javon Leak would run one in for the score to make it a 27-14 game with just 11-28 to play. Michigan always quick to respond with a drive of its own. Shea Patterson escapes the tackle box, puts a juke on a defender, and finishes the nice run. Patterson found freshman running back True Wilson for a catch in Maryland territory with a face mask tacked on at the end. Finally, he found fullback Jared Wangler, son of former Michigan quarterback John Wangler, to extend the lead 33-14. After a pick six by Michigan cornerback Brandon Watson, Maryland put together one final touchdown drive of its own in garbage time. Backup quarterback Dylan McCaffrey and running back Omari Samuels entered the game for the final snaps, and 12th ranked Michigan took down Maryland 42-21 ahead of a massive matchup this Saturday under the lights against the 15th ranked Wisconsin Badgers.